But let me do the other question just the uh, um, easy way, which is um, I start by copying over the formula that I was looking up earlier. And I'll, I'll just do the algebra and finish the answer here. So, um, so you do need this formula and deriving that will take another 20 minutes. So I won't do that, but I can do this, which is, um, you know, copying it over. So that's uh, the formula for inductance of a rectangular toroid. Inductance is given by mu naught times number of turns squared times the height of the toroid divided by two pi. That I was, oh, it comes from somewhere. A probably circumference of the toroid times natural log of the ratio of the radii. And since this should be a positive number, I'm gonna guess this is the outer radius without looking at the, uh, the actual picture up there. So <laughs> with that copy the formula, the, it's a relatively simple thing to finish because it's uh, giving you the inductance, it's given you L, it's given you the height of the inductor, 10 centimeters tall, um, and it's given you the number of windings. And so it, you, you have everything except for this ra ratio of the radii. So that's what you're solving for. So um, to do this algebra, I would uh, I have this thing inside the natural log. So let me solve for this first. Um, it, it's a kind of, I don't know, algebra review. I think most of you know how to do it. Uh, if someone asks you to solve for this, I think you know how to do it, but let me just do it for the sake of completeness. So solving for this, this is what I get. Natural log of the ratio of the length is equal to, I move all the coefficients over. That gives me two pi times L divided by mu naught n squared H. So once I have it solved in this form, then what I can imagine doing is taking this entire expression and raising it to power of e. And when you do that, the exponent and natural log cancel each other out in some sense of, in the sense of function composition. <laughs> it's the sense in which they cancel themselves out. And you end up with, on the left-hand side, the ratio of the, the ratio of the radii. And on the right-hand side, will get you um, these quantities uh, inside an exponent. So exponential of two pi L over mu naught N squared H. So that's uh, what you should have end up with. Oh, and I guess uh, I came this far. Let me just plug in the numbers into calculator. So this is what um, you should have two times pi times the inductance 0 0.035 divided by mu naught has a very interesting quantity. In the basic SI unit, it's uh, four pi times um, 10 to the power of uh, minus seven. So how should I write it? Let me write it as a one E uh, minus seven. Um, in the correct unit, <laughs> um, mu naught is a, it's an interesting physical quantity. That's a four pi times, wait, is it four pi or two pi? It might be two pi. I'm confusing myself. I think it's a four pi. Let me, <laughs> uh, mu naught is defined um, exactly. So that's a mu naught. Uh, oh wait, did I? No, I divided by, good, divided by, and then divided by the 2100 windings squared and divided by the height 0 0.09. So that ends, wait, oh, that's the thing inside the exponent. So equals that. Um, raise it, um, let me store it into memory, raise it to um, power of E, um, yeah, uh, memory recall. And that should be the ratio of the radii. Um, 
1.554. Let me plug in the numbers and if I get it wrong, I'll assume I misremember the mu naught and do it all from alpha. So yeah, okay, <laughs> I didn't misremember. So, um, so that's it, that's uh, the short homework set that you had. Um, or still have until midnight tonight, <laughs> or usually pass. Um, uh, 